All right. So before anything gets going here, I will put the prediction up in chat over who you guys think will win this particular series, the Goons of the Detroit Red Wangs, as we will be sending down Chang, Gudis, and Heinrich. And we will be calling up Kolosov, Barlow, and Milroy as three of our better AHL performers this season. We're going to give them the opportunity on that third line. So Barlow in on left wing. We'll have Kolosov. And we will add Milroy. Best center of the bunch is Milroy. And to be honest, could bump up the fourth or the third line in the fourth line. We can make that swap because these guys were in the NHL all season long. So that is the uh, that is the game plan. But Sigalette is that one defenseman who we've played at forward pretty much his entire career, and he has turned into a marvelous addition to that top six. Hopefully that plus five across the board defense can hold on. And we know that Anderson's going to be the starter. AHL wise, since it is the playoffs, we're just going to go best lines. And hope that there is an answer. And there we go. We just want the best team available, including that plus five. Hopefully Hodge in over, uh, in over Vinny. Ooh, we need to... Uh, Change this a little bit. So Melvin White is going to be out for Joseph. And Wilson Day is going to be out for Heinrich. We'll go ahead and play Heinrich with Chang, Andrew Chuck with Joseph, and then have Gudis with Datsuk. Damn. All right, yeah. Well, Gudis, you're going to have to be third pairing. Sorry, buddy. Anybody else scratch that we care about? Not really. We're also going to have to double check where Calgary finished. But all in all, all in all, I think I still expect this team to make it out of the first round at least. I'd love to see us continue that upward trajectory. I really would. Let's turn off auto rotate. Just wanted to go through those options really quickly just to make sure we were okay. Where did the uh, Calgary Flames finish? Outside of the playoffs, for one. How high of a second round pick will that be? Yes. Calgary, bottom five in the league. So we will have, what, pick number... Well, I mean, let's do the math. 30, 33, 34, 35, 36. Pick number 37. Can I break out the Bergeron jersey? Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Happy about that. That turned out to be a damn good trade. Again, who knows what this team would be like with Froats on it, but I'm pretty happy about that. Let's take a look at the Detroit Red Wings in 2033. They look like this. Zadina, Jarvis, Peter Vlasic. 17th overall in 2028. Hoaglander, Hayton, and Fabry. Zach Coit, Kuiper, Kuiper, Kuiper. Joe Valeno, Cody Glass, Gogolev with Hillen and Lundstrom. Not amazing, not terrible. They do lack a true, like, 90-plus superstar. Defensively, Wallander, Ronick, Kola, Mine, and Kraus, Bear, Bjornfoot. Goalie, Sebastian Kossa. Okay. It's a solid team. It's a solid team, but it's not an elite team in any way. That might just be our opening to make this happen. And before we get things started, it is time to bestow upon our starting goaltender, Elliot Anderson, 
the starter helmet. Although you know what, maybe the uh, Vita Hassan mask will be the the backup. We need a starting helmet for Elliot Anderson as he leads us into battle. Shark mouth is hilarious. As he leads us into battle. And hopefully it gives him all of the motivation that he could ever need, that he could ever want. And he leads us to victory. This mask is absurd. Let's go with that. From the Pardubish. There you go, Elliot. A crown befitting a king. Can you lead us to victory here in the postseason? Let us find out. It is round one, game number one against Detroit. We're back in the playoffs for the third year in a row. We made it to the first round. Of course, we didn't make it out of the first round two years ago. And then last year, we made it to the second round, losing to the Caps, who went on to lose in the Stanley Cup final. First period. It's all downhill from here, folks. Milroy, upon the call-up, scores two. Who else but Robert Hedberg scores, as does Steve Robertson. Joe Valeno with two for Detroit. It's 5-2. We're not going to score for the rest of the series, are we? Second period, it's now 5-3. Nils Hoaglander, oh God. Boys, please, you're up 5-2 at the end of the first. Get one more goal, please. Please, I'm talking with my hands to make my Italian ancestors proud. Eggplant Parmesan. Eggplant Parmesan. Eggplant Parmesan. Let's go. Game one to the good guys. As Phil Morrow seals the deal. 6-3 final. Milroy gets the call up. Scores two. Fowler with a hat trick of assists. The basket of apples, and of course, Hedberg scored two. Because why wouldn't he have? But what a performance there for Jamison Fowler, and a huge win for the Goonfish in game number one at McDonough Coliseum. Who's the guy? Is there going to be a guy that can live up to the McDonough buyer legacy who will be the head? Right now, it's Robert Hedberg. If you're asking me, hey, Goon Squad 4, who's the head coach going to be as a nod to the other one? It's Robert Hedberg. This guy's unreal. Absolutely unreal. Game number two. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I doubt we score five again. First period. Goalless. I mean, the odds were in my favor to say I doubt we score five again, but we had to tempt fate, you know? Second period. one nothing goons. It's Rintoul. 30 goal score this season. We're up 1-0 heading into the third period. And that went away fast thanks to Seth Jarvis. 20 damn seconds. Into the period. Barrett Hayton scores. 2-1 Detroit. I'm not having fun anymore. Come on, boys. Come on. Somebody. Somebody. Find me. Somebody to love. I'm already engaged, but it's fine. Shit. 2-1 win for Detroit, 38 saves. Yeah, there it is for Sebastian Cosa. Anderson had a great game too, but Detroit wins the goalie duel and ties the series up at one apiece as we head to the Pizza Pizza Arena. For game three, Fowler being our leading scorer after two games is not quite what you want to see. Uh, we outscored them 7-5. It's a 1-1 series. I love how that works. Game three, we're not going to make any changes. Our team's pretty much our team, at least until we get down to desperation time. First period, it's desperation time. Ethan Bear, one nothing. We have one goal in our past four periods of play. Technically, that one goal was an empty netter. We haven't scored a goal on Kosa since the first period of game one. Second period, there we go. Morrow and Rintoul, but Kuiper and Hillen make it 3-2. 
We've proven that we can score, but then our defense goaltending kind of kind of softened. Boys, you're only down by one. You got this. You got this. You got this. You got this. And by this, I mean a boot in your ass. Five, two, six, two, Detroit. Seven to two. And the Detroit Red Wings take a two to one series lead. I was going to say maybe Kavasha starts the next game and then he allowed one goal on seven shots in relief. All right. Not great. Not great. Obviously, the stats are going to look pretty rough. <laughs> Do we call up Amrit Hodgson in pure desperation? Anderson, you've gotten and earned the right. Do not suck. I'm going to put Piper with Morrow, Carlson with Fowler. That second line's been way too quiet. I know it's a plus five. It's not working. It's simply not. Yeah, we're going to drop that second line and uh, change things up a little bit. We simply have to. Hmm. Trying to see where Summers proves to be the best fit. And the answer is on the top line. And of course, Hedberg is a great fit for the third line. We're not going to be able to prioritize chemistry. That's fairly obvious. That is fairly obvious. We'll swap Bowdens and Holtz. For the sole purpose of hoping that we can spark Ty Bowdens into actually doing something positive again. But it really doesn't feel like that plus five is benefiting us all that much. So a couple of slight changes. I said we weren't going to make any changes until we were desperate. We're pretty desperate because if we go down 3-1, to one, we're in huge, 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 huge trouble. First period of game three. Goalless. We are really still struggling to score goals here. This is... Oh, boy. Second period, 2-2. Two -two. Edberg and Pascale, but Wallander and Ronick each score. This is anyone's game. Goals are tied. Shots are tied. Heading in to the third period. Power play for the Goons. Nothing doing. Power play for the Red Wings. Nothing doing. Come on. We need this next goal, Phil Morrow. Is that enough? Morrow has been clutch. So far in this series, we got a big win. I think I said it was game three earlier instead of game four. Great bounce back performance from Anderson. And we are tied at two games apiece. Thank God for that. It wasn't the prettiest win. It really wasn't, but job done. Anderson's numbers are looking better. And honestly, I know we won, but I don't care. When in doubt, start playing people based off of how they are performing. We are going to drop Mora and Piper down to the third pair and start playing Sutter and Robertson a little bit more. They've been our best pair so far this series. We're going to start playing them like that. I am uh, going to take my more old school approach that I'm sure you guys have seen me take before, and that is just putting 
the best performing players into the best spots and giving them a chance at that stage out of pure desperation. Pretty much where we're at right now. So Rintoul, kind of taking a look. And honestly, you should be better. What are you doing? You just won. Doesn't matter. Done this a million times. And Tool can stay ahead of those guys. It's pure luck that we won. It has nothing to do with the line combos. I don't know why people get so panicky over that. If anything, we won in spite of how bad some of these fucking guys have been. Alt has one point and is a plus one. That's just absolutely brutal. Brutal, sir. Brutal. Like I said, we are going to get... the best players for the job in the best spots. They're doing well. You get rewarded. It's that simple. And let's be honest. It's not like we won because Ty Bowdens was on the top line. He still doesn't have a point and is a minus two. He's statistically the worst goddamn player on this roster right now. So we will set it up this way. And if it fails, it fails. If he dies, he dies. But I'm willing to risk it. So Holt, Hedstrom, Sigalettes. And who would have thought that uh, the AHL duo of Kolosov and Milroy would earn their way onto a top line with Hedberg, but I'm willing to do it. If we lose, we lose. If we win, we win. It really doesn't make too much of a difference. You just got to hope you get the luck on a game-to-game -game basis. It is a very important game five. Let's see what we got. First period. Golas only got five shots. That's pretty concerning. That is pretty concerning. Second period. 26 shots to 13, but we're hanging in there. The offense has struggled a bit, but Get we're hanging in there. In there. Thanks, Elliot Anderson, at least for the moment. Power play for Detroit. Gabriel Holt, one nothing. Let's go. Let's go. Halfway through the third. Six minutes. Two minutes. Anytime somebody says, what are you doing changing the lines? It doesn't matter. Just do it. Go with your gut. Because if you do, you look like a genius like me. And hey, if it backfires, you look stupid. But who cares? 37 save shutout for Elliot Anderson. We're one went away from the second round yet again. Thank goodness for that. Elliot Anderson has had, what, he had one really, really bad game. That's dragged down his numbers, but aside from that, he is the reason we are here. Back up to a 9-16 despite allowing seven goals two games ago. I cannot believe how bad Ty Bowdens has been. Cannot believe it. Never thought we'd see these particular three in our bottom six, but there you are. Big performance for Holtz. The line stayed the same because, hey, we literally didn't, you know, literally didn't allow a goal. Can we end it in game six at the Pizza Pizza place? Can we do it? First period. one nothing Detroit. Hillen. We had three shots. You thought five was bad. Second period. Robert Hedberg. Third period. Eight and scores early. That is exactly what we had to avoid. Power play for Detroit. Thankfully, they don't double up. 11 and a half. We still got time. We need this next goal if there is one. Yeah! But we're going back home for game seven. Nuge Television. You're just in time, everybody, to see us choke away a chance to end a series in six. Oh, my God. Woo! 
Whew. Franchise mode's where it's at. How'd the stream go, friend? Oh, God. And hello, everyone from Nuges. I'm sorry, this probably is not your typical content. But we play franchise and we meme. We love Hut Rivals. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Game seven. For this... Frankly, absurd team. It really has no business even being here. But. Hmm. Time to mix and match a little bit. Time to mix and match a little bit, you know. That's the defensive setup. God bless abilities the most overpowered thing in any aspect of this game and don't you forget it god what are we gonna do what are we gonna do about the forwards ty bowden's is a minus three with no points in six games i can't demote you any further buddy you're already on the fourth line how bad you have to be to be demoted do we have anybody in the ahl that could score goals I mean, we got a couple of guys. Apparently, Holloway had a great first round. I got to take out Burmistroff as well because he's not actually ours. Ah, uh, put Hardigan in there. Why the hell not? All right. One in doubt. When in doubt, set up the team as best we can based off of OVR and hope it works. That is what we're going to do. It's game seven, all or nothing. Get the best players the most amount of ice time and hope that your skill, which LOL at this concept, but hope that your skill is able to win out over theirs. That's what we're looking at. Ty Bowdens, you need to step up, Chief. You really, really, really do. Let's see it happen. It's game seven. I'd like to make it out of the first round again. That would be cool. Can we do it? First period. Well, there's always next year. There's always next year, isn't there? Jarvis, Kuiper, Hoaglander. Shit. Second period. Milroy scores, but so does Gogolev. We go to the third period down by three. Four goals on 16 shots after 40 minutes. Hedstrom makes it a two-goal game. Every time, every time we score, they get one right back. And that's it. We win our division for the first time, but we are going to be bounced out in round one in seven games by the Detroit Red Wings. Our star players failed us big time. Mikhail Kolosov spent the entire regular season in the AHL, and he led us in scoring. Ty Bowden's trash bag. Hedberg tried, but that's not good enough either. Sigalet wanted to be a little bit better. Holt. Yeah. Our, just, our lack of depth could not help keep this team in it when our depth scoring just wasn't there. And yeah, I mean, goaltending-wise, goaltending-wise was brutal. Yeah, so Nuge, in this, we're only allowed for forwards to have power forwards, grinders, enforcers. And then defensively, it's uh, DFD and enforcers. So when we were terrible, all we were getting was, you know, defense, defenseman. First overall, third overall, third overall, second overall. 
This guy was a second round steal, as was this guy. But with the amount of abilities, yeah, you can just get plus fives. Power forwards and grinders didn't start showing up until the top five, or in the top five of a draft, until we were already good enough to not consistently be picking there. Uh, which is why we're playing Alan Sigalette as a forward. <laughs> Granted, he scored 71 points, or put up 71 points this year, so he'll probably win the Vezina. Uh, the Butte Bruisers, by the way, the defending Calder Cup champions in the AHL, they are moving on. They beat Rochester in six. So let's keep following along with them. I'm not going to change up their roster at all. I probably could. And drop the Vesna, uh, the Norris. There you go. It's 2.30 in the morning. What are you going to do? Um, he could. He should, honestly should win the Vesna too. Our goalie, uh, Anderson, looked like he was going to win the Vesna. I think retroactively that should be nullified. As Butte goes to Game 7 against Utica and loses. This is the first season that we can say we are incredibly disappointed. That's, that's a heartbreaker, man. NHL team fails to get out of the first round. The defending Calder Cup champions fall in round two. The New York Rangers. It takes nearly 40 years later, but the Rangers have finally won. Emotional damage! Another Stanley Cup. Emotional damage indeed. It's the Rangers beat the Vegas Golden Knights in five games after a interstate battle in the conference final. I said, looking at teams at this point, it's not necessarily worth it. Austin Matthews wins another Art Ross trophy. Patrick Laine wins the heart. And Andrew Sigalette, a defenseman playing forward, has stolen a consecutive Norris trophy away from Charlie McAvoy. Of course, our first defenseman to win the Norris would do it as forward. Uh, what was it, Easton Lindros or some shit like that? He wins the Calder for Calgary. Adam Fox wins the Con Smythe. Elliot Anderson won the Vesna. <laughs> and then fell apart in the playoffs for the most part. Lowe wins another Jack Adams. Michael Misa wins a Selkie. Line A Ted Lindsay and Line A Rocket Richard. In the AHL. Nico Dawes was goalie of the year. Ryan Hartman was MVP of the playoffs. <sighs> That's just a really, really tough way to end this season. There is still yet to be a number one projected power forward. The positive is that we have our own first round pick. We have Calgary's second round pick as well as our own. So looking at that stage of the second round... Raymond Winther, if he actually ends up being that good. Jackson Lau on defense, not that we need a defender. Medium nine grinder, oh no. Oh, that second round's not looking that good. I, I, I just... I. We we might have to we might have to stop for tonight. I don't know if I can possibly be handed another L. <laughs> We've been handed a lot of them lately. I don't know if I'm emotionally prepared to be handed another L.